I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the inverse square law for light. I have one of those old style overhead projectors, a, uh, a mask on it that has a square cut out of it, so I can project a square up on the board. And right now, the projector is one meter away from the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the outline of that square on the wall. And now I'm going to move the cart so it's two meters away from the wall instead of one. This is a two meter long stick. And so, here we go, two meters away. Gonna get it lined up here. Again, I'm going to outline the lit box. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move the projector so now it's three meters away. I don't have a three meter stick. I'm going to do the best I can with the two meter stick and the one. So there's two meters. I'm backing the cart up. I'm taking the one meter stick. I'm judging the best I can. Now I'll trace the outline again, and then we'll turn on the room lights. And I'll turn off the projector. This was at one meter. That amount of light was hitting the board, concentrated in that area. But when I move the projector, twice as far away, so it was at two meters, you can see that the same amount of light was spread out over an area four times larger. So the light is less concentrated, it's less bright. Same amount of power, same wattage of light, same luminosity, to use the astronomy term, is spread out over four times the area. And when I move the projector to three meters away, then that same amount of light was spread out over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes. So the brightness of the light must be one ninth. If you triple the distance, the brightness of the light source becomes one ninth as great.